In 2004, Liverpool Housing Trust found itself doubting whether its efforts to partner with its contractors were delivering any real advantages. We thought, well, you know, if we're going to embrace partnering, there has to be a benefit for the organisation. We should not be embracing something if we couldn't see, uh, you know, the way forward and to see how we and our supply chain and contractors could get benefits from that. So it asked a private sector procurement specialist to get involved. We were approaching the sort of annual cycle where people talk about price reviews and we were being presented with all the usual information on things that had gone up, there had been an increase in copper, an increase in steel, labour rates were increased, fuel rates were going up. We asked the question, what's come down? That was greeted with something of a room full of blank faces uh, and we started to investigate this avenue and said, well, what are you doing about it? The suggestion made was to take a detailed look at the efficiency of each contractor's business. We were asked could they send a consultant into our company and basically strip us down to the bare bones, spend a week with us, look at how we run things, what we do, everything about the whole company. It included the, the phone bills, uh, the way we communicate with our staff out in the field, uh, it included our invoicing processes, the way we worked with our suppliers and all of those indicated that there were massive reductions available in terms of workload and therefore costs. We identified all kinds of areas where they could save on their unit costs for things they were buying. Probably the more relevant and important issues were around some of the process issues. Uh, one in particular organisation, they were getting a two foot high stack of invoices every month and every time they took on a new contract they were needing to take on new administrators to deal with the paperwork. So obviously that was offsetting directly against their profits. So rather than getting economies of scale from growth, they were just getting more and more infrastructure they were having to pay for. It's got me into a position where I know we can expand because our systems are much more improved uh, than they were in the recent past. Once you've done it for the first year, you won't go back. You will honestly and truly go, you'll open it with open arms and say, you know, come in, this, you know, it works. Initially, the cost of the consultations was borne by the Housing Trust. I think we have a role to play in terms of developing organisations. What we've tried to do over recent years is to support those smaller to medium organisations. Um, and I think definitely there is a benefit for those local organisations. If those organisations grow, if those organisations develop and their employment you know, increases, then there is an impact within the neighbourhoods that we're working. It's not just about improving your contractor, it's about improving the supply chain for the benefit of everybody. But as an indication, the, the first projects we were doing were delivering about a 20 to 1 return rate. So for every pound it cost to get the review work done, it was saving 20 pounds for the, you know, the collective. And once this was realised, contractors were happy to share the costs of ongoing consultations. Suppliers too from national businesses have appreciated the greater sense of teamwork created by second generation partnering. We work with lots of partnerships but I believe that um, the partnership we have with the contractors and the Housing Trust is the best model to follow. And the contribution of one specialist supplier has led to a national partnering award. This is something that we certainly wouldn't have won without the work that we did with the Liverpool Housing Trust which has ultimately led to increased business by taking the same process, the same procedures to other trusts throughout the UK and we've won business on the back of that. We've got improved materials, we have improved quality, we have improved customer satisfaction and we have no increase in cost. In fact, we have managed to reduce costs and that's something that five years ago you would not have believed.